Uh, this is Serenity Leisure's video for this 2017 Deathless Sunlight, um, which has just arrived with us and it's currently for sale. Uh, this is a six berth motorhome, uh, latest style cab, 2.3 130 brake du Ducato. Um, and the video has been made alongside the photographs you've already seen. And people find these videos very helpful because we can point out any markings to the motorhome and give you a little bit of sort of running commentary on it as well. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, it's uh, pretty much pristine to the outside and the inside for that matter. These represent very, very good value for money. There is, I think, one... You, I don't even know if you can see it. Probably not. A tiny little mark there. Uh, that is the only thing on this side without doubt. Um, it's got some nice spec, this camper. That awning is an option. Uh, most companies put the Fiamas on because they're cheaper. This has got the tall awning on it. Uh, you've got this nice big area here, which is either a half garage like so, or this bunk uh, folds away. I'll try and do this with one hand. You can't. Well, you can see from the photographs that um, that bunk folds out the way and then you can put push bikes in there and get where you're going and then take the push bikes out and put the bunk back in situ. Otherwise you could put the push bikes on that. Uh, no markings at all to the exterior. And there's a wire hanging down there, I've just noticed. That's my fault because I was adjusting the reversing camera yesterday and that wire was, yeah, anyway, we'll pin that back up of course. Much the same regarding condition on this side. There's no creases at the top. There's no pimple marks at all on this side. It is uh, completely unmarked, I can confidently say. We've just put a, not that you would know, it's not really relevant, but it's just had a brand new windscreen fitted uh, because the other one had a uh, nasty chip in it. So we couldn't fill it, so we just put a brand new screen in yesterday. Right, internals. So, <coughs> it's just got the really popular layout for families. Um, decent sized lounge here. S uh, s uh, six seat belts all together. Forward facing seat with two. Another one there with two. And then two more in the front. Uh, it's got good cab spec. You've got air conditioning. These are options. Air conditioning, cruise control six-speed box, reversing camera, electric windows, central door locking, um, which is remote and a, all singing, all dancing entertainment system. These seats don't swivel, there's no point because they won't integrate into the lounge. Uh, condition of the upholstery is pretty much unmarked. You've then got a nice big bed up here. <coughs> this one comes down. The all important window. Some of them still don't have a window. Memory foam mattress, which is unmarked. There you go. There's a net that comes up here to stop anybody from falling out. And then just pop that out of the way so that uh, when you're not using it, you've got more room in the lounge. Decent galley with an oven and a grill. That's all in very nice condition. And again, no markings to these worktop at all. Funny place to have a television bracket, but hey ho. This motorhome has also got habitation air conditioning, which is an expensive option, uh, but a real asset in the summer. Or if you've got a parrot, I remember selling a motorhome to some people once who uh, weren't that interested in having air conditioning fitted because they uh, were worried about getting hot, they were worried about their parrot getting hot that also came away with them a lot of times in the motorhome. Apparently parrots can easily overheat. And uh, and yes, that would be the end of the parrot. So with the uh, implement of habitation air conditioning, that wasn't gonna happen. Very good. Uh, blinds and fly screens all the way round. Uh, permit lighting underneath there. Um, and then you've got these uh, two bunks at the back. Both mattresses again are unmarked. That one is a little bit dark in there because I haven't put a light on, but it's, uh, there you go. They've both got windows. Oh, there's the light over there. Uh, Decent-sized wardrobe here. 
can't see anything. Uh, it's got the large fridge freezer. That's all very nice. And then, uh, great bathroom. This is not a wet room. Got a separate shower. Tetford C250 electric flush toilet. <coughs> Integrated sink. Decent mirror. Subdued lighting. And then the separate shower with a duck board. <coughs> Excuse me. And a bifold door. There we go. Uh, all of which is absolutely pristine regarding condition. Uh, I can't really, uh, there's nothing detrimental to say about this motorhome at all. It uh, doesn't have any air freshness to disguise any horrible smells. The carpets had never been put down. They're brand new. Um, they were all in the plastic in the garage, so we've obviously put those down. Uh, no markings at all to the interior. And there's your control panel up there. Electric step. That's the remote control for the air conditioning, which can be used to heat motorhome as well, incidentally. Okay, that uh, concludes Serenity Leisure's video for this 2017 uh, Deathless. <laughs>